Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna try a new challenge in phobies. I'm gonna try to win in arena using only 3 key or 4 key phobies. I started out trying 4 key only phobies, but eventually I thought that challenge was sort of too hard and it was impossible in big maps. And you know, as the saying goes, if you can't beat a challenge, change the rules. So that's what I did. I decided to only go for 3 cost phobies and 4 cost phobies instead. So that was a whole lot easier and you're gonna see that attempt at the end so that's all i wanted to see enjoy the video i don't know i don't expect to win this guy's pretty good plus the challenge is like really really hard because i'm gonna need to pa capture a lot of panic points or something uh you just i don't know just want to cap, cap some panic points this guy is probably gonna be wondering what the hell i'm doing with my games right now okay we're going next next one we're going with the honey bear because he's gonna be here in a little bit Okay, now how the hell do I capture the middle panic point? Because in this map, it's like, if you get a unit on this panic point, it just dies usually. So you're going to go right, you're going to probably use your cat, get in the middle panic point. Chuck, Chuck, that is cringe as hell. This is a bit cheeky. I'm able to cap, cap this without really being punished so hard. And honestly, I want to back you off a little bit. Back you up or something. Now, the one of the good counters against Chuck is a sheep. Because sheep has poison that's, that, that cannot be healed. So hopefully I can, I'm able to... I just I just allowed him to, to hit the sheep for one damage. For, for one hit. So that's pretty bad. I wasn't a best idea now if i get the sheep on this panic point or something he needs to advance to actually hit okay he doesn't go for this which is interesting okay so next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the alt on this panic point right so what this does it disables it disables map tiles so if i use this on the panic point it, the panic point is not gonna be it's it's gonna be like it doesn't exist um i don't think that matters really where i put it as long as it's on it uh, you're gonna go here. Oh, I can buy two of them. Okay, so I'm gonna have all my units, my four key units. Clubster. This is so bad. Clearly. Okay, so if I did everything correctly, now I'm looking good for the next two turns. You can't really come in and, and attack this. So this means that this is hardly gonna advance. Or, I mean, at least... Ah, oh, shit, it can attack me twice. I, I, I could have just kept it there. I got a bit greedy, I think. Okay, well, the rest is okay, though, I guess. Dude, you're going poison? Jesus, the noxious. Level 8 noxious. This is this is rough. Okay, so you can just go back. It's it's a, such a stupid mistake, man. Um you can probably go here. Now, I don't know, because it blocks this. It can't really be attacked by too much damage. It's pretty hard because it can take it can take this, this and a jar cannon hit. But then I think this just sort of dies almost. Probably doesn't, but. I get this closer it's not too bad okay now pretty much is the time where I'm actually gonna be able to actually use my three cost unit and this is sort of cheating but at least I'm gonna be able to use all my keys because if I can't use all my keys it's kind of stupid okay oh wait can't can Oh, it can freaking die! So my goal would have been... Okay, hold on. Now let me think about this This one. If I put the, this one here, use this, then probably use this to go here. It's, it's so bad, but I need to do it. Because if I don't do it, I lose any hope of breaking the heart and I just lose control of the map. Because like, this thing, it just takes control of the whole map. I just can't freaking do anything. I'm gonna back you off, even though I don't want to, but I think it just dies if I don't. Do I put you closer? Man, this is so bad. I think I just need to put everyone closer cause and push, because right now, you're either gonna kill these two units or something, or at least hurt them, or you're gonna kill someone else. So let me go for a jar cannon. Jar cannon is not good, actually, so never mind. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. This is such a bad turn. But hopefully, like, you only have like so much damage you can do. So so much, so a lot of units are vulnerable. But 
there was going to be vulnerable units anyway. So th if this dies, maybe I didn't do... Yeah, right. So you need to move this stabby if you want to kill me. Unless there's like something that that's coming out that I don't expect. Like a new new phobia or something. Because... Ah, oh, Jeroni! Fuck! <laughs> I didn't think about Jeroni. I didn't think about Jeroni. Okay. Um, yeah. You're going to go for the sheep, which is not too stupid. But you're just not gonna be able to kill this. My, see that my 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 guy is so un, not oh uh, not leveled. I think I'm gonna sacrifice it for the greater good. Sacrifice the crab. Now my my opponent has ten keys banked and honestly probably a better position. Just like at the end of this turn, he's probably gonna have more units on board than I do. So if I've done the math right, this stays alive. Okay, because I'm just sacrificing units left and right to make this work, you know? Like, if you if you see this, like... Sure, I get the advantage, I do, like, a bit of damage here, but it's not enough. So I'm just gonna surrender. Okay. <laughs> We're losing ELO. We're lo I don't know how much ELO I'm gonna lose if, to complete all these challenges. Um, ah, we're player 2! We're player 2 on this map, that's so bad. And I know this guy is pretty good. Mira, I'm a su uh, I know they're pretty good, so I'm gonna go for like a primate. Ugh, I don't like that. But I want something that can like defend itself against this guy. And I know like most of the phobies I can like pull out are gonna be able to do exactly that, but yeah, the, the fact I'm player one is so bad. Because now my, I let my opponent take a whole bunch of advantage here. Guys, I don't want this guy to take so much damage. That's that's the only thing I can do here. So I'm probably... Oh no, I can't even punish this cat. I'm, I'm just gonna go cap this point and get a gain stand out here and just defend myself. Defend the panic points that I got. And look what the kind of advantage you can get out playing player one in this map. Now, of course, it wasn't like optimal. I played the... I play, I'm playing a stupid challenge right now, but... Um, I think I, I, I actually want to use this because you know what's kind of crazy here This is kind of really strong because if I I can actually hit this spot here Disable two of these panic points and then all, all of a sudden all of a sudden without really capping without really getting the advantage In terms of panic points I can do 470 470 a turn on the heart This is gonna be so hard to cap. I think I'm still gonna I'm gonna spawn against thing Attack the cat once with it. Attack uh, attack the cat once with the honey bear. Then disable the panic points with the honey bear. I still have the... the it's actually going to be equal in panic points. So I'm not going to be able to get anything out of it. Just protecting my heart. But none of the 4k units I have are like... Game changing. I don't have like a Grimes or something. So it's kind of sucky. You know what? If this dies, I don't care. No, I do care. Damn! Damn, alright. We'll think about it next turn. This is awful. This is awful. If I could just go get it, like, just put a one key unit on this freaking point, I'd be okay with it. Now I'm just in pain. But my hope with this repositioning is I'm able to use this in combination with the splash damage on this to get this. Oh, you do nothing. Okay. I mean, this is kind of stupid because I just get three keys out of nowhere, but... I want to do something now. I'm sure. I'm sure they saw it coming. It's not even that great of a move, but I just gotta do something, you know. Make the video entertaining. Make some things happen. Maybe the clubs. <laughs> the, what, what's this guy name? Clubster. Yeah, clubster. Maybe this guy's actually the way to go. Unfortunately, I don't. I still don't have my ult. I can't really disable anything. My hope is just I'm able to go and cap this point over there. Disable these eventually. Now I'm fully expecting this to die. And I come out with a win on this on this game. I still have two four key units left to to use. There's just no way, man. There's just and you know what the worst part is? I'm go actually gonna save a bit of damage on on your spider by doing this. And then you're gonna use the sheep. You don't have the pull online, so I can always use the poison here. You're gonna take like actually. 
a thousand damage, then you're gonna kill it. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But look, I'm doing something. I'm definitely doing something here. Like this. Okay, yeah, you run away. <laughs> you're bullying me. At the very least, I keep the panic point advantage. Get the temptress down. You're gonna go down here. I think it's a good spot for you for now. And uh, we still have one key left, but we can't use it. Okay, this is there's no way we win this. This is such a terrible position. I mean, it doesn't even look that bad, but the fact that I, I lost so many keys. You're gonna use this. And you're gonna go and kill the Clinico. Just that go just go down here. And potentially like you're able to disable two panic points. Although that's kind of physically impossible, I guess now. I mean you're probably gonna use this to kill the sheep. So that's that's why maybe this would have been oh. Okay. Oh I guess. I guess. Yeah, this is GG's. This is definitely GG's. Like probably probably not this turn, but the turn after that. Okay, moving on to the next one. I don't even want to think about that one. Okay, we're going against Vazi. Sheesh. Level 11 snowball. That's not a big deal or something. At least I'm able to... What, what, what's the best play here? Let me go... Let me go this guy first. And I'm just going to try to push off... It's not that great, but I'm just gonna try to, yeah. Yeah, first move, wh whatever I do, I'm, I'm al I allow you to, ca to cap two panic points without any punishment. Do I go here then? I allow myself to take... Okay, so I... Or do I go even here? I'm not gonna die. If you try to get after me with your snowball, I'm gonna jump on it and kill it. I think this is a good play. And if you don't, I'm kind of... I'm left crying, pretty much. But at least I trade. At least I trade. It's a 4 cost... I mean, it's a level 6 for a level 11. Let's just see it that way. Don't think about the keys too much. This bachelor is going to be a pain in the butt. It's not that... Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Hopefully you don't spawn it. Ah. Bang. Bang. We trade. He's going to kill it next turn. No worries. Uh, he's gonna cap this point then, so I want to be able to cover both panic points that he can cap. So at least I can punish the bachelor, but it's still ass. Garbage, garbage plays right now. This, probably gonna attack this twice, then I expect you to move on here. Oh, I can't cap it because I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get pulled in. That's the freaking problem. Plus the, plus, yeah, of course. Plus the jar cannon is gonna annihilate me. Like I'm just gonna explode. I I'm just doing this for damage control. It's gonna be done. Yeah, temperature is perfect. You're gonna go here. So this means that you have to move your jar. If you move it here to kill to attack this, I can even cap the middle point. Maybe maybe there's something to this. What's nice too is that if you try to, I mean, I guess it doesn't really work this time, but I expect this to like move in here. Ah, this sucks though. Okay, so you're body blocking this instead. It's not terrible. I just don't think it's great because I can actually use this too. Yeah, okay. But uh, nah. arguable, arguable, definitely. Okay. I can get away with the splash here, I think. So like... If I if I use this, do I can I kill this? No, I cannot kill this. Okay, you're very low on HP now. You don't have your snowball. Yeah, I think it survives. So you cannot really go on this panic point uh, on this here. Let me go for a sheep, which is perfect against the blinky. We got the we got. <laughs> I'm playing so stupid, but it, it's working. A high level, high level Gajar would have definitely killed me. I, th I thought it would be less close than that. 
Like, uh, yeah, 100 still. But yeah. Vice is, Vice is playing carefully. I can respect that. I'm just glad right now that I have the, the, the panic point advantage. I don't think that's gonna last. I don't like. You're almost dead with like this. Seven keys. I mean, I, I fully expect the sheep to die. Uh, this is a. Uh, is this garbage? I don't think both can die at the very least. I think either one of them can die. I, did I use the. Uh, did I use. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Oh, I'm gonna lose time. I, I have to bank anyway, but. No! I thought I, I, I used the. Um, I, I thought I used the ex explosion. I don't even think I did, but it's kind of annoying. So I'm I, at least able to bring in one Fubi this turn, one Fubi next turn. I don't even think they're worrying right now about what I'm about. Okay, hold on. What is that move? Is that good? I mean, like, if you go for, like, nah, it's definitely awful. Oh, well, look at that. It's, it, it's not so bad. Because now at least I can do 470 on this bunker. Uh, this is this running away, like, I think just the right amount. Because if you go for, like, yeah, the cat, the cat on the panic point is kind of annoying. I can kill it, but so expensive because I'm gonna lose tickets and if I do alligator there's no way I can deal with the alligator right now oh okay <laughs> how high level is this thing level 11 because <laughs> the only thing now I think I have to kill the cat because if I don't he's just gonna just like follow me around and probably get here this is like actually fine no it's not it's definitely not fine and then I just use the clubster if I have time. Go here. Or here. Yeah. It, it's definitely a loss. Like I lost, I think, the turn I... The turn I tried to accept the challenge, but... I don't know. That's not even gonna work. I need to just run. Yeah, that's gonna work. That's gonna save me the game. It's still alive! 12! Okay. 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 This might be this might be the opponent we're looking for, guys. This might be the opponent we're looking for. Level fives instead of level eights and nines. That's gonna be a lot easier to beat. We want something like this. Yes. So that if you go on any of these panic points, I'm able to leap and kill anyone. I don't take as much damage, so that means that I don't think. I, oh, hold on. This. This uh, dark end here would be awful. So I might have to just attack this or something. Mm. I mean, I don't think that's great, but it uh, depends on how he follows it up. Because I can go for. Oh no, I can't. I could go for like a uh, like a dark end or like a murder wing here to attack this and then combo with this, but well, obviously with the four key challenge only, I can't really do that. So I'm probably just gonna end up like going here. This one's tough. Maybe I, I maybe I, I spoke too soon. This opponent seems, this seems like a really strong opponent op op opening against this. And at least he's going small keys for well, small key, low key phobies, which is hard to deal with. This is, I mean, this gotta take like a thousand damage, right? So combined with like a dark cannon. I can't afford that. I need to go back. I need to honestly go here. Maybe I should. I, maybe I should just start with like a Ginston, you know. Jesus, this is this is this is awful. This is awful. <laughs> At least I can kill a cat next turn. Then you're gonna get boom on the damage pad, and you're gonna freaking destroy me. So I need to leap. I need to. I wonder what's the best play. Ah, uh, you're. This game is already over. Oh my god. Get rid of the cat. You need to do this. Move away. Probably here. And then get the Ginston. Mm. 
My heart, yeah, my heart's dead. Jesus Christ. I... <sighs> yeah, it's already over. It, it's gonna, it's gonna be like an eight turn games or something. This is absurd. Absurd. Okay, so look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here, protect my heart, and then go with this to disable the panic point. Oh my god, I would say GG's, but that was... Uh, I mean, they, they played perfectly, I think. They played perfectly to counter me, I think. I wonder... I think Genstin is better off in the in the early game, but it's hard, man. It's hard. Alright, this guy... Okay, finally, finally. Okay, we're against Ray, uh, K Rapture. I'll say I always say Ray Capture instead of K Rapture. Okay, this is gonna make it hard to cap this point. This is kind of really bad already. But look, I'm gonna play it a bit slow here, and I still want one cap panic point, so I'm gonna go with the Murdering. Um. Oh, we say Venus in response to my Venus. How dare you? That's supposed to be my thing. This is this. See this? I'm kind of doubtful about that, because it's a creep that poisons anything that's here, I guess. But then I can just go heal. Now with that being said, this is a strong opening, because I cannot. I I mean, I start with like a huge disadvantage in keys. Let me go for. Ginsting, whatever. We're gonna use Ginsting, and if I mean, I know I can kill it by using the Murder Wing instead. So if they go for like a Miss Muffet, I don't, maybe I'll get away with moving this in the middle and then using the Murder. I don't know, or probably just moving this on the healing pad or healing spot. Okay, uh, oh yeah, Miss Muffet as expected. Miss Muffet is so good in this map, I it's ridiculous. Man, capturing the middle panic points is gonna be tough. I wonder if I can do it this turn. Because if I can like get it out of the way this turn, it's gonna make the whole thing a lot easier. Um Okay. Let's think about this for a second. These units cannot affect this style. You can probably go for like a jar cannon doesn't do anything. If I come here. I'm gonna take another another 300, so I'm gonna do, be at 600. This doesn't do enough damage, this cannot reach. Man, I want. I, I think I can risk it. I think I can risk it. If I plant a trap here, it's like next turn I'm gonna come back and heal all the way up. Hopefully. Here. Probably like a jar cannon helpful. Can't really touch it and it's gonna allow this to be uh, contested. I don't know if I can get away with this. Maybe I need to run it back like here and, and go for a clinical instead. I need to think about it a bit, but this is a, has like a hundred HP. That's kind of stupid. Now, can I kill this with the lava? Yes. So that's good. If I go here, then run this back. If I really wanted to risk it, I would just not even go for the clinical, but I think it's a safe thing to do. Huh? You didn't you didn't see that one coming, I'm sure, but yeah, I'm gonna go for this. This is good, because I can just disable this panic point, and this does way more damage on the heart. I think. And if I'm limited to four keys and three key key phobie, I need to use the ones I have. When I can. Okay, so if you do that, you kill your own thing. You kill your own spider. Oh I mean I'm kind of mad now. Unless you're gonna go for like a jar cannon. I'm mad because I want you to do this. <laughs> and if it doesn't work and you don't do it, you're not gonna do it, but for the wrong reasons. Okay, you do get a jar cannon, that's good. I do need to move in, but I think I'm just gonna move in with clinical. I don't wanna, I, I mean this takes, think about it, this takes so much damage. Ah, oh, hold on, There's there is still fire damage here. No, I can get away with that. Okay, so look. This is gonna take 235. Right? 235, so... um, It's dead. We're, do we're doing okay, man. We're doing okay. Just both. Gonna disable that. Gonna hit this once. Or should I hit the creep? Don't think it matters, but this has less HP, so it's better. Oh, am I stupid? I'm actually stupid. Oh, I, I could have used this 
right here instead to block these two panic points. I really wasn't thinking straight. This is a good move. I should have had my murder wing like a bit closer, probably here. It's a bit of a mistake. It's really hard to see. Stabby or Bow Mangles? I I think Stabby is better, but I don't have him. I don't have small phobies. Usually, it's good to have small phobies against these resurrect phobies because you can just step on them very easily. I think this is good because yes, I'm I'm getting attacked, but I I don't die, and there's always the clinical around. I don't see anything dying here. We're gonna go for or on 13 keys. 13 keys. Let's go. I might have to tank. I might have to go up here with the with this on this panic point with the bow angles. It's a really awkward position. This contour shoe is gonna make this really hard. Because I mean, he can just walk here soon. Dude, having small phobies would be so easier right now. So much easier. Um. Okay. Let's think about it. Now, at least you did... I think it would have been really good for you to go here, place a trap here. I don't think you did. This means that this can take... I mean... 600, 500, 500. It doesn't die, but it's really close. And now I gotta think. So that's 14. So I can go 4, 4, 3, 3. Do I have that? 4, 4, 3, 3. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I did miss. Oh, uh, what? Since when is that there? Uh, okay, you don't want to use your your meatball, I guess. Ah, this sucks, man. I'm. Oh my god, heartbreaker, bruh. It's not that good because I only have four key or three key phobies, so I don't have any big phobies. Your the the worst you can do is pull like this into the the pit, right? And you can do it. You can do it. By the way. Let's use this instead. Now, uh, this can come and kill the char cannon. So I kind of have to reposition everything. Uh, this is going to go here. I don't think you can go come and kill this. I mean, 500, 500, 200 or something, 300. Or you can always like use this heartbreaker. Do I have to move it? Uh, heartbreaker sucks. Yeah. I mean, right now we're fine. We got, we're just losing 235 a turn, but it's just because of this. This carries my team right now. <laughs> Otherwise, my bunker would be gone. This still has the ability. I I just have to do it. I just have to do it. I have I have to burn one of my phobies. It sucks, but should I should I wait one turn like somehow like use this ability, come here and then next turn use my clinical instead of my baby snakey. Because clinical's value is like probably two keys when it's already used the, the heal, the heal, especially when it's like doesn't get all its value. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh damn! I forgot about that. Ah! And I can't punish it. Now I think y you did a bit of a mistake positioning this here. It should have been like here, because now I can just freely just come here, annihilate this. Um, now, if you go on this, I'm just going to kill you. Don't really care if this jar cannon dies while I do that. Uh, now, should I go on this panic point instead? Or really just go here? That's a weird, a weird decision to make. This has pretty much full HP. I, I, is it better to go here? It's hard to punish it. Really, like it really is hard to punish. I think that's really better. Okay, the fact that you didn't really, you didn't put your your murder wing like here is such a big a big mistake. Like it's it kind of is crazy. Um. Okay. So what did I say? I want to do that. Uh, yeah, I want to do three, three, four, four. So I still have two four costs to go and use. Uh, it's probably time to go with like a, a grave digger right here. Right, so I, so I can break this block, and Grave Digger is also one of these hobbies that I don't mind like throwing away, once the the ultimate ability is used. Yeah, see, this is a really weird position to be in. I think your best best your best bet is to just forget about this and not kill it. 
But see, this is bad. Okay, good place on the murder wing. Good place, this going away. So, if everything goes right, I did my math correctly. I mean, this I just have to move away. This, I kind of want my Gravedigger to end up on the lava. Because eventually I want to kill him, sacrifice him for the panic point. And this is gonna die. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, we're getting the advantage sort of right now. The seven key drop here is very good for me, very good. I think actually the best thing to do is going for sheep. Because a sheep can do some, so much damage right around here. Right, keep the pressure I think is good. Um, okay. Ah, that sucks. Now my my hope is to eventually probably just maybe even cap two panic points next turn with the the undead units, but that's that'd be greedy. Maybe it would be the best play. Okay, that's a bit greedy too. Can you kill this? No. Not close. You're gonna go here. Oh my god, that's that is scary. Tell me I have okay, I have this. Even if I I mean, it was possible that the only phobia I could have used there was like the clubster. And if that was the case, that would be like a great move, but there's no way for him to know that. <laughs> Let's go. What? That's a weird mistake. Because now, I mean, okay, hold on. Let's see what dies here. Let's see what dies. Um, I guess it'd be better to... Oh, hold on. Be better to... Oh, this? Clearly? And then, I mean, this probably, this probably dies. I don't expect to kill this. So I'm just gonna... Um, do something like this, I think. I mean, I kind of want to drop trap, so hold on. This, 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 and I'm gonna win, dude. Holy crap. That feels uh, kind of good, to be honest. And I'm, I still have, yeah, I still have a lots of phobies. That last turn was like many mistakes all at once. <sighs> okay, hey, have you seen the new video on Phobies YouTube channel? I mean, technically, I have not. I've just seen the um, the video of Miss Char reacting to it. I mean, if you die, I don't care. Hey, I win! <laughs> Let's freaking go! Oh, that that feels good. That feels good. That honestly is kind of the first time I'm trying the four keys and three keys challenge at the same time, which may mean that it's a little easy. It's a little on the easy side.